Well, the numbers just staggering. I mean, we're talking more than 20 young people have been shot this year in Baltimore City. And one program that aims to make a difference in their lives is called ROCA. WJZ investigator Mike Helgen live in your corner tonight explaining just how this outreach is making a huge difference in communities, Mike, all across the city. It is, Rick. ROCA helps some of the most troubled young people in Baltimore, and new numbers from the program show their clients are less likely to end up behind bars. We first told you about ROCA some five years ago when it came to the city. Tonight, a progress report. I got involved with ROCA by getting in trouble with the law. DeAndre Chase says ROCA saved his life. I'm from West Baltimore, uh, the Freddie Gray neighborhood. Where would you be without ROCA? Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you where would I be today if without ROCA. They, they grab a hold of you and uphold you to the end of it. ROCA relies on intensive outreach with a current caseload of around 250 people, the most at risk youth in the city, many between the ages of 16 and 24. It provides them with job training, a way to get their GED, even basic things like getting an ID and safe shelter. Just because of their background doesn't determine who they are as a person. You can't be like everybody else in their life. Just as soon as they want to quit, you give up on them just like they had. Jamal West is involved in just about every case and says he never takes no for an answer. We knock on your door today, you slam the door in our face, we'll be right back tomorrow. It took me 89 tries to get through to this young man. The first time I knocked on the door, he ran out the back. Building that trust goes a long way. If you go to them, if this is just a regular job to you, these guys see through the facade. One homicide or one shooting is too many. Roca's vice president in Maryland says they get lists of shootings every day and go to neighborhoods to track down young survivors. Within 48 to 72 hours, we are running lists, we're checking names, we're offering services to the young people, to their families. The level of violence in Baltimore is much higher than any other city that we work in currently. Um, but the reality is a young person with a gun who is at any moment in their life potentially going to use it or be the victim of gun violence is no different. ROCA's own numbers show they're making a difference with those involved in the program significantly less likely to be arrested and incarcerated than their peers, saving lives one day at a time. The change I see is the belief in them. They don't normally have people in their corner that believe in them to do the right thing. ROCA will make a difference. I couldn't say it make a difference for everybody or everyone that do it, but it made a big difference for me, an outstanding difference for me. And ROCA is set to expand soon into Baltimore County, starting in the Essex area. We're live in Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.